to my channel if you are one of my regular subscribers. Hello guys, thank you for being here. If you are new to Celestial Forecasts, I welcome you. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, for my Libras who are celebrating birthdays the second half of October, happy birthday guys. Here's to wishing you one of the best birthdays you've ever had. Um, so this is going to be focusing on your Romance Angels reading for the second half starting October 16th, which is today through the 31st. Um, sorry, I'm a little bit late in posting this, guys. It's been kind of chaotic and crazy with catching up with uh, the booked readings, so I'm just now getting to it. But nevertheless, um, this is your reading for the second half of October. And uh, general, as always, guys, it will not resonate with everyone, so please take what does resonate and leave the rest behind. Before I get started, though, um, I have a few announcements, beginning with simply thanking those of you who have booked readings and uh, have donated to the channel. Thank you guys so very, very much. I'm also now on Instant Go, so if you're interested in uh, obtaining a mini reading, which is a shorter version of what I would normally offer through my website, please follow me on Instant Go and access those readings uh, through that format. Um, I respond fairly quickly, so it's a great way to reach me throughout the week. So please take advantage of that option. I also have my Angel Wings um, promo still going on for the next couple of weeks. Ends on November 1st. So if you are interested in obtaining a rush reading, please mention code Angel Wings, and that will give you a discounted price and you will not be charged for the rush reading fee, which at this current time is about $50. So it's a great savings and a great value. All right, guys, so please take advantage of that for the next couple of weeks. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the intuitive messages from the angels, and then we'll go ahead and follow through with our um, romance angels spread, healing messages from the angels, and angel answers. All right, guys, so please give me a few seconds. Let me go ahead and clear the energies for you, Libra, and see what messages come through this time around for you. Here we go. Angels, please bring forth your messages for Libra at this time. They're telling me, for some of my Libras, you are really going all out this year for your birthday, that you're absolutely having the time of your life with celebrating a milestone birthday for some of you. For others, it's simply just really enjoying this particular birthday especially. Um, they're also coming through with a message that you're going to be reconnecting with some friends and family that you have not seen in a very long time and that they're going to make an effort to come and visit you for this birthday. So that's great. It's, it's nice to reconnect with loved ones, friends and family that you haven't seen in a long time. Angels are also coming through with a message to let me know for some Libras, you're going to get a new job and it's not just a job, it's actually your dream job. They're telling me that you've worked long and hard for this and finally here comes your opportunity. Wow, so that's great guys. So it's not only going to improve your life financially, but really it's gonna feed your soul. It's going to absolutely elevate the quality of your life because finally you're doing something that you're passionate about. It's not just going through the motions of earning a paycheck. It's something that's actually very meaningful to you. So whoever is resonating with this, you'll know exactly what it means and that it's meant for you because you have endured this for so many years of working simply to earn a paycheck and you were just going through the motions. You were not enjoying your work, but that's going to shift and change, guys. For some of my Libras, that's going to change. You're gonna get your dream job. So. Wow, very happy for you. They're giving me a very specific age group for those of you um, at least age 25 and older who have not had the best of luck in love. You've dated quite a few individuals, but it just never really took off and it, it did not go in the direction that you wanted things to go. Not to say that you're not enjoying life or dating, 
getting out there and socializing, absolutely, you are. You're, you're not a hermit, Libra, so you're absolutely enjoying life, but it would be nice to finally find that soulmate connection that for some of you I'm really feeling you've been looking for and searching for and just have not had the opportunity to make that connection. Angels are telling me that that's going to change before the end of the year. You're going to make a soulmate connection for some of you. It's going to warm your heart is what they're telling me. Very unexpected connection. For some of you, it may very well come about as a result of this dream job. And this is interesting. They're telling me for some of you guys, a small group, that the connection that you make may very well be with a supervisor or like a boss. Not to say you're going to end up going out with your boss. It's someone that they are connected with or related to that you're going to have a connection with and develop a soulmate relationship with. So for some of you, this new connection will be the one. And it's at your dream job is what they're telling me. You guys are the second sign, Libra, where they're, the angels are telling me that some of you guys are in the field of nursing. They're blessing you in this career path. And they're thanking you for your work. I am thanking you for your work. That's wonderful. So thank you, thank you, thank you for taking care of us. This is another interesting message that they're bringing forth for Libra. Some of you guys have lost rings. Some of you guys have lost wedding rings and or engagement rings and you've been looking for it for years. For some of you guys, they're telling me that it's at the bottom of a hamper and it's like kind of dug itself into a crevice. So look in there. If you've been looking for your engagement ring or wedding ring, Take a look at a hamper that you've neglected to look into. It's buried under something or wedged into a corner somewhere, but it's there. Yeah, you will find this ring that you've been looking for forever is what they're telling me. So it's for a small group of you, but they're, they're coming through with this message, guys. So I have to communicate it. That's what they're telling me. For some of you, it's your grandmother's ring. It's been passed down from generation to generation and you haven't been able to find it. But it's in your home. Keep looking and they're telling me it's either buried at the bottom of a hamper or it's buried under a similar type container. Look in your drawers as well is what they're saying but you'll find it, you will find it. Okay, Libra, wow. Some pretty interesting messages coming through there for you guys. So I hope whoever that did resonate with that you were able to pull from it. All right guys, so let's start your Romance Angels reading. So angels, please bring forth your messages for Libra. Second half of October. For some of you, it will be birthday time, celebrations. Okay. Please bring forward your messages, angels, for Libra. October 16th, which is today through the 31st. All right, Libra, here we go. We're starting off with a separation. That's the root of the situation. What's crossing you is let go of control issues. 
basis of the situation, however, is romantic feelings. Past position, give your relationship a chance. Presently, we do have the retreat card, okay? So for some of you guys, it's telling me that you're separated from your spouse. For some of you, it does represent a divorce, but let's go ahead and lay out the rest of the cards. We've got stay optimistic about your love life here, Libra. Power of the situation is an attraction. We do have the trust card coming through here. Chemistry. Children. It's so weird. Like this card has been coming through quite a bit for the for some of my signs the second half of October. Children. Yeah. Bottom of the deck. We've got finances and career. Okay. Give me a second, guys, to assess this. I am picking up off of the energies, guys, that some of you are separated or divorced. What's crossing you is let go of control issues. I'm feeling that it's been, this was what caused a rift in your relationship that perhaps you Libra or your spouse or significant other, they were very controlling, which caused a rift in how you guys interacted with each other. allow the situation to unfold naturally, but it's challenging you because I'm feeling that the total opposite is what occurred here. There was too much tug of war in this relationship, I'm feeling. Not enough give and take. And at times, Libra, you and your significant other and or spouse, you guys were just both very controlling, butting heads with each other, not seeing eye to eye. Finances and career is the bottom of the deck card. I'm feeling for some of you, finances, it was an issue, and that you guys were bickering and fighting about money a lot. I'm feeling once one partner was spending more than the other, creating a bit of a problem when it came time to paying off bills and such, being able to afford to go out, Money was tight. I am feeling that was one of the issues that broke you guys up because you guys were just constantly fighting over money to the point where you guys really had some crazy arguments. Very hurtful arguments. One person accusing the other of this and that. And after a while, the arguments were no longer about money. And you guys were just trying to hurt each other emotionally. And it's sad because the basis of the situation of this connection, guys, were romantic feelings. I really do feel that you guys loved each other very deeply at one point. I feel that you still have feelings for each other still. but there's a level of doubt into where this is gonna go. Past position, we do have give your relationship a chance and I am feeling in the past, you guys have had your share of struggles, but you've tried to work through things. But for some of you, it just ended up being a bit much and you really broke free from the relationship. You gave up in trying. There were just too many challenges. And regardless of how you guys 
cared for each other. It just wasn't enough to sustain the relationship. Yeah, and this resulted in the separation. Presently, the retreat card is here. Married couple wanting to disconnect from the world. Problem with this is, guys, you guys disconnected from each other. Either you, Libra, or your significant other or spouse gave up on the connection, regardless of the romantic feelings, regardless of how they felt about you. Because I'm, I'm feeling that there's still love here, guys. There's still love here. And there is a desire to want to reconnect. Those of you who have managed, who are divorced, let's put it that way. Those of you who are married, picking up off of this scenario and you guys are divorced, I really do feel that you guys still have feelings for each other, but that's the end of the road. That's the end of the road for that, for those of you in that group. Those of you who are separated, but still technically married, living in two different households possibly. I still feel the love guys, and there's a possibility that you guys have a chance to reconnect and work on this thing. Because at the end of the day, what you guys bickered mostly about disagreed mostly about were finances. That's a fixable situation. Falling into the future, we do have stay optimistic about your love life. So the angels are asking you to have some faith, to think positively about revisiting this connection because there's still so much love here. It's just that in the heat of the moment, you know, with arguing and not seeing eye to eye, and when things get heated, especially regarding finances, you know, people make hasty decisions to break free from the connection, when in fact, you guys could have totally worked through that. Because the power of the situation, guys, is this attraction card. You guys are still very much attracted to each other. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, of course. The attraction is still very, very prominent, regardless of the distance, regardless of the separation. And how others are looking in at this situation, looking from the outside in, Trust needs to be established, guys. So your friends and family, they, they're picking up off of this. You and your significant other and or spouse that you're separated from, you guys need to rebuild the trust in your connection, especially related to finances. That needs to be revisited and fixed. There has to be a level of trust that you guys can actually work together in this recommitment and that finances and challenges that stem from that will no longer surface because this time around you guys will be able to work as a team. And your hopes and fears, Libra, you've got the, the chemistry card here. A part of you is afraid that if you guys reconnect, you guys are, are not going to be able to revisit this chemistry that you guys had when you first connected and had the romantic feelings you're afraid that you can't get it back but that that's certainly not true it's it's just all in your head it's it's a fear okay you're you're afraid that you guys will not be able to regain and reconnect with the magnetic attraction you guys had in the beginning but you will because remember this is the power of the situation you're both still very attracted to each other and interestingly enough, guys, this is your outcome. You're going to be having children in the future. 
you're going to build a family together. All the more reason to get your finances in check once you guys reconnect because you're going to need it heading into the future once you, you grow your family. And I do feel and see children in your future. You guys are gonna get back together, cancel out that separation. You, have, you do have to learn to let go of control issues and you both have to learn to trust each other once again, especially in relation to finances. I do feel that will happen. Ultimately, you guys are going to work through this because the love is still there. You guys just made a hasty decision to separate for whoever this is resonating with. It's not too late. You can work through this. At the end of the day, guys, money is not where happiness lies. Celebrities are a perfect example of having all the money in the world. And some of them are just outwardly miserable. You've got all these celebrities that clearly they, they have everything that they could possibly have monetarily, but they're, they're not all happy. Okay, happiness comes from sharing your wealth with someone that you could truly love and enjoy life with. And wealth simply is not talking about just money. Wealth comes in so many forms. Love, relationships, good health, happiness, the love of your children, the love of friends and family. It comes in many forms, guys. Okay, so, but ultimately I do feel happy, a happy outcome from this scenario, regardless of where you guys are at currently with the separation. All right, guys, so let's pull some healing messages to add to your reading. All right, Libra. So angels, please bring forth your messages of healing for Libra. Second half of October. Please bring it forward. They're having me shuffle a little bit more for you. For Libra, please, angels. All right. Healing messages for Libra angels. Please bring it forward. Please bring it forward. What healing messages do my Libras need to hear at this time? Okay, there we go. We've got the focus card. We have friendship. And I love this one, bottom of the deck, guys. We've got new beginnings. Very nice. Okay, so with the focus card, guys, in relation to this reading, it's true. You really do need to refocus your attentions towards what's important. Because at the end of the day, finances and career, yes, it's important to be successful in that, absolutely. But when you're dealing with an individual bringing forth so much love for you and you guys are just really bickering about money, I'm really picking up off of the energies, guys, that once you refocus your energies towards fixing this, you can do it, okay? It can be done. And the friendship card is here, guys, because before you connected, on a romantic level. You guys connected on a friendship level first and you built what I am feeling is a strong foundation by way of your friendship and how you connected with each other to begin with. So rebuild on that. You can rebuild off of that and really come back to a place of having 
those reignited passions once again because this chemistry card, this attraction card, they're still quite prominent, quite prominent in this connection. Even though for some of you guys, you feel that it, it may have fizzled a little bit, once you guys reconnect, that will not be the case. It's going to be very good. And again, I see you guys getting married once again. So yes, for some of you guys, it will be a second marriage back in, into each other's lives and you will be having children in the future. So you gotta work on rebuilding this trust, guys. Let go of the control issues. Give your relationship a chance because what wants to come in for you, Libra, is this new beginning. You've got a new beginning that wants to come in for you in relation to this whole scenario. So you've got a second chance. A second chance to get it right. At the end of this life, we cannot take our money with us. Okay? So think about the direction that you want this to go. Because you've got so many wonderful things that want to come in for you, Libra. So many. So many. And how awesome that you've got children that want to come in for you in the future. So there you go. All right, so let's close out your, your reading, Libra, with some angel answers. Previously in my other readings, I've asked you guys to clear your mind and focus on a particular question that you have in mind. But I'm going to change it up a little bit, guys, and have the angels simply bring forth the answers that they feel you need to hear at this time and answers that you would benefit from most. Okay, so angels, please bring forth your answers for my Libras tuning in for October 16th through the 31st. Please bring it forward. All right, guys, let's grab some answers for you. Hopefully it'll offer us more clarity in regards to the situation, but sometimes it doesn't, and they just have answers that they truly need to share okay so let's see so angels please bring forth your answers for libra bring forth your answers for libra please angels okay we have a few answers guys okay this is the first one okay helpful people. So there are people in your life that are always there to lend a helping hand. But sometimes, Libra, you forget that they are there to help you. Sometimes you want to tackle things on your own, and that's perfectly okay. But you need to remember that you have a great support system through your family and friends. Whenever you're in a bind or if you truly need assistance in your life, they are there for you, so don't forget that. You also have the opportunity card coming through here. It's picking up off of those of you who are about to secure that dream job because it is the absolute wonderful opportunity that you've been waiting for. So it's just being reaffirmed through this card. You've got some great opportunities coming in for you, Libra. And for some of you guys, these opportunities may very well present themselves within the next couple of weeks. That's how quick it's gonna present itself. And look at this, perfect timing. Perfect timing. Things are gonna happen in your life when they are meant to. You cannot rush it from happening until it's meant to happen, guys. Okay? But really, you've got a lot of good things coming in for you. Very nice energies coming through this reading. Really. So look forward to these new beginnings, guys. Bottom of the deck? Absolutely. Listen to your intuition, Libra. You got to follow your gut, not only in relation to your romantic life, but anything and everything. Follow your gut and trust in your instincts. Okay. 
listen to your own intuition and you can't go wrong I'm picking up energies Libra that some of you guys are are highly intuitive as well you have that gift as well so learn to trust it trust it all right guys so that's my reading for you, Libra, for the second half of October. Once again, happy birthday to those who will be celebrating birthdays starting today through the end of the month, um, through the 22nd. So this really had a lot of positive energies coming through here, guys, regardless of the separation that's going on you'll find your way back into each other, in, into each other's lives, I'm feeling. Yep, you will. Things are gonna work itself out. So there you go, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Um, just a reminder again, please follow me on Instant Go if you're interested in a mini reading. And please take advantage of the Angel Wings promo going on for the next couple of weeks. I'll be back with more readings, guys. So in the meantime, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you all. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.